active campaign repeating automation. We're going to talk about basically reusing the same automation, but making changes to an email that gets sent out uh, based on a custom field being updated when a tag changes. So let's dive right in. So inside your active campaign account, we're going to want to do a few things. We're going to set up tags that are appropriate. And the assumption here is it's somebody's making a purchase. And depending on the product, you want to send a different message to them. So I will start by simply creating uh, some new tags that are product specific. So there I'm going to add three tags. It can be an unlimited number of tags. It gets a little unwieldy if you have too many of those because there's going to be an if condition in an automation. And the second thing is I want to create a custom field that we're going to use inside an email. So I'll go to lists. And I'm going to create one, and I'm going to actually make it a text area. It could be text input. I'd recommend text area. And there are actually a couple ways to accomplish this one. I'm going to call it review. Now, we want to go create an automation that uh, is basically triggered when somebody becomes a customer. They buy a product. And I'm going to make the assumption that you're going to get somebody into this automation. Then we're going to check on tags. So if somebody makes a purchase, they get a product specific tag added uh, to their profile. So I'm not going to use start with, I'm going to start without a trigger. And then the first thing we're doing is we're going to check if they have a specific tag or not. So we're going to look for a tag. Is it product A? And this is where I say, I'm going to say it gets a little crowded. So if you have uh, a lot of tags that are product specific, then I would reconsider doing this or breaking it up into a little bit different. So we're going to just go ahead and look for all the different product tags. Okay, so we have, let's call this repeating. Go ahead and save, make that active. And we're basically initially just checking a whole bunch of different conditions. Looking for that tag, that tag, that tag. Now for each of these, we need to then update the contacts uh, custom field called review. So we want to basically do that for each of these. And then the next step is we're going to send an email out to them. So go ahead and do it at one location here. Okay, now you want to send out an email. You can put in some common content, and I'm going to say, thank you for your purchase. Then I want to push in the custom content, so that would be review. And so that'll populate the appropriate information into the email. And then you actually want to have these all go to this email right here. And then if they don't have any of those tags, we basically just go to in this automation. So to review, um, a person gets put into here when they ever become a customer of a certain product. Um, we then check to see what their tag status is, if they have a product specific tag. If so, we uh, update a custom field. That custom field gets included in an email. We send out that email. If they don't have any of those tags, they just don't get an email. Um, you control how many times a person gets put into here. You also might in, add in something that's basically a wait state. So maybe wait for six days. And my recommendation is um, to be careful with timing because if they can buy product A and product B within uh, seven days of each other, you're probably going to want to send out the first email within six days. 
So there can be a little bit of a timing issue there. So just make sure that you take that into account. That's how you can use ActiveCampaign and a repeating automation.